Hello, food lovers. Have you ever gone to a new city and have no idea where to eat? You search on Google and excited about the 4.5 rating restaurant you found, but only find disappointment after dining there. Well, we here to help you find the best restaurant to eat within your budget. Yeah, you heard me right. We're diving deep into the world of fish sauce and fur, banh mi and beyond. Get ready to slurp, crunch, and satisfy those cravings Dallas style. First up, the banh mi at Saigon Deli. This ain't your average sandwich, folks. It's a symphony of textures and flavors, all crammed into a crusty baguette. We're talking savory meats, pickled veggies for that tang, a swipe of creamy pate, and maybe a little kick of chili. It's the perfect balance of sweet, salty, spicy, and fresh. You bite into a good banh mi, and it's like a flavor bomb explodes in your mouth. We're on a quest to find the ones that'll blow your mind, the ones where each bite is better than the last. The bread should be soft, but the crust is crunchy, but not hard. You can tell a good banh mi when the crust has cracks in it. My family and I agree this is as close to the banh mi from Vietnam as we can get. They have four locations in the Dallas and Fort Worth area. The cost is $5 each, and if you buy three, you get one free. The S1, banh mi thit and boy, or combination is the best. S2, siu mai, or meatball, and S4, char chu, or barbecue pork are excellent as well. Let's talk for our baby. This ain't just soup, it's an institution. That rich, fragrant broth simmered for hours. The tender slices of beef, the mountain of fresh herbs and noodles. It's pure comfort in a bowl. How do you know if a restaurant has good fur? Rule number one, always go to a place that specializes in fur. How can you tell if the place is specialized in fur? It's simple, it should have fur in the name. In this case, we'll go to Furbach in Richardson, Texas. The moment you step inside, the aroma of fur should hit your nose. The combination of star anise, cloves, cinnamon, and cardamom, together with fish sauce and the fatty bone marrow should make you salivating as it does the moment you step inside Furbach. I recommend fur tainam, or rare with well-done flank. Make sure to have the rare beef on the side so you can dip it in when you're ready to eat. That way, it's perfectly cooked. It's between $10 to $14 a bowl. Hey there, food adventurers. Before we continue our delicious journey, let's take a quick pit stop. If you're loving these Vietnamese food explorations as much as we are, please subscribe, like, share, and smash the bell button to get notifications when new videos come out. We love hearing from you, so let us know your favorite Dallas and Fort Worth area Vietnamese restaurant in the comments below. Your support helps us keep bringing you the best foodie content out there. Now back to the feast. All right, folks, buckle up because we're about to dive into the world of Von Cell, which translates to sizzling crepe. And trust me, this ain't your mama's pancake. We're talking about a crispy, savory crepe that's bursting with flavor. Picture this, a thin turmeric yellow batter poured onto a hot griddle, sizzling like crazy. Then you hit it with pork belly, shrimp, bean sprouts, and whatever else your heart desires. Gok Hue is known for the best bonsel or sizzling crispy crepe. The bonsel is crispy and the sauce is savory, a piece of the sizzling crepe wrapped in rice paper with herbs. Dipping in the savory tangy fish sauce is a heavenly combination that can't be resisted. Since you are here, try some of the central delicacies like bon bell or small steam rice cake in a bowl. This is usually topped with chopped dried shrimp. The bon nam, a steamed rice cake with pork and shrimp wrapped with banana leaves. Of course, bun bal is a must since you are at a Huey food specialty. They open every day from 11 in the morning to 8.30 in the evening and close on Thursday. The price is around $13 an entree. Next up is Bang Koon. Let's be real, it doesn't exactly roll off the tongue, does it? But trust me on this one, your taste buds won't care about pronunciation once they get a load of these delicate little beauties. Imagine thin steamed rice sheets rolled up with seasoned ground pork, wood ear mushrooms, and shallots. It's all about subtlety and balance, the kind of dish that sneaks up on you with its understated deliciousness. We're talking silky smooth textures, savory fillings, and that perfect bite that just melts in your mouth. And of course, no Bangkun experience is complete without that dipping sauce. 
Bangkun Van knows how to make the best Bangkun in Dallas area. They open every day from 8 in the morning to 8 at night. The price is between $11 to $13 per plate. Okay, people, it's time to ditch the fancy tablecloths and white napkins because we're hitting the streets. When it comes to Vietnamese food, sometimes the best stuff is found in the most unexpected places. We're talking about those hole-in-the-wall joints, street vendors, and pop-up stalls that are serving up pure, unadulterated flavor bombs. From grilled meats and seafood to fresh spring rolls and mind-blowing banh mi, we're about to take you on a culinary adventure through the heart of Vietnamese street food culture right here in Dallas. District 1 Saigon Street Food packs with Vietnamese street food. Owner Tom Bui takes diners on a culinary ride through Saigon with a dizzying selection of over 100 street food and drinks. Zoom into the Cac Mon and Dac Biet, or specialties such as Bap Sao, Chung Mui, corn sauteed in butter and salted egg yolk, Ba Ne, steak, sausage and eggs on a sizzling platter, and the goi, doo-doo, koba, green papaya salad with beef jerky. Get ready for some serious flavor, some even more serious spice, and a whole lot of that, how did they do that, magic. This is where the real deal goes down, folks. You don't want to miss this. They open every day from 11 in the morning to 9.30 at night. Most of the items is between $10 and $17. All right, folks, buckle up because we're about to break some culinary boundaries. This ain't your grandma's fur, though she'd probably dig it too. We're talking Vietnamese fusion, where tradition meets innovation and blows your damn mind. Think banh mi tacos, fur burger, or fur spiced ramen. Yeah, you heard me right. At Chris and John Vietnamese Street Food, they're creatively blending Vietnamese and Mexican street fare. The center of Chris and John's menu is the fur rito which piles all the goodness of a bowl of fur into a warm and crispy tortilla. From there, the menu expands to bao, tacos, or banh mi with a variety of fillings, or more traditional fur and ramen. So open your mind, ditch the food rules, and get ready to experience Vietnamese cuisine like never before. They are open Tuesday to Friday between 11 in the morning to 8.30 at night. Sunday is close at three in the afternoon and reopen at five. Close on Monday and Saturday. Most of the items costs around $9 to $13. How about an oven baked to perfection of a whole catfish or kadut law? We're talking about a whole baked catfish with the crispy skin. You definitely want to bring a big group here to be able to finish that whole delicious baked catfish. You scoop a piece of that crispy skin catfish and place on your rice paper with noodles, herbs, and peanuts. Roll it up and dip it to the fish sauce mixed with sugar, lime, chili sauce, and garlic. You won't be able to stop at the first bite. If you are not a fish person, try the seven course beef or ba bay mont. This will take your taste bud for a beautiful journey from beef porridge to raw beef dipped in a vinegar broth to the raw beef cooked in butter with lemongrass, then wrapped in rice paper with noodles and herbs. Dip your creation in the provided sauce for a heavenly taste that making you reaching for more. So get ready to experience Vietnamese cuisine like never before. They are open Sunday to Thursday between 10 in the morning and 9.30 at night. Friday and Saturday close at 10. Ba Bay Mont is $46 and the Ka Dut La is between $62 to $77. Okay, big group of eaters with diverse taste buds, this one's for you. We're talking a large menu that will satisfy the most diverse taste bud group. Some even hail this establishment as the cheesecake factory of Vietnamese cuisine. The menu is ridiculously huge with over 700 items, including a list of smoothies that includes the jackfruit and avocado mung bean. The must try items are the rolls. Of course, there are the well-known rolls like the spring rolls and egg rolls. However, you should try the nem nuong or pork sausage rolls. Dipping the roll that is a combination of pork sausage, fresh herbs, surrounding the crunchy wonton in the provided sauce, and it becomes a symphony of food playing in your mouth. If you are more adventurous, try ban cote. It's a small cake from Hue, a central part of Vietnam. So your large group should give Bistro B a try, so you can sample as many different delicious Vietnamese dishes as you can. They open every day from 8 in the morning to midnight. A bowl of noodles is around $13. An order of rolls is between $4 to $10. Oh 
Home Kitchen, or Bep Mia, is a cornucopia of food and beverage. The big menu does a pretty good job of helping diners wade through the options, like the Kerm Hen, or Baby Clam and Rice with Shrimp Paste, and Mi Quan, or Yellow Noodle Rice. Both are specialties from Central Vietnam. Just be prepared and willing to ask your server a large helping of questions if need be. The familiar Kerm Ba Luk Lak, or Shaking Beef, is a must try, or Ban Mi Ba Ka, or Beef Stew. You can order with a massive hunk of French bread. Break a piece of bread and dip into the savory beef stew. While the overall sandwich was tasty, the bread casing was definitely the star of the show. The crunchy exterior gives way to a spongy interior. There are sections for kerm tom, broken rice, egg and rice noodle soups, bun, vermicelli, along with house specialties. Noodle dishes like the bun ba hue is a spicy beef noodle soup that is a central Vietnam delicacy. Slurp the same thick Vietnamese noodles from any of Bep Mia's fur dishes, with more than a dozen combinations of vegetables, proteins, and fried toppings in the signature beef broth. But it's a crime to leave this place without trying the signature drinks, which take up a quarter of the menu. Bep Mia is known best for its cafe chung, or egg coffee, which is separated into a bottom layer of black coffee and a topping of Vietnamese egg cream. Swirl the layers with your straw and sip at a rich Vietnamese coffee with punches of nutty egg cream buried throughout. It's easy to get lost in the menu, but even easier to get lost in the inviting dining space. Grab a seat, drown yourself in the calm cafe music, and immerse yourself in the forest of Vietnamese dining in Bep Mia. They are open on Monday from 10 in the morning to 5 in the afternoon, Wednesday to Sunday from 10 in the morning to 9 at night, close on Tuesday. Most of the items cost between $11 to $14. Okay, have you heard of broken rice or kerm tom? This one's for you. The name ungon means delicious, and it's rightly so. We're talking a broken rice plate offers tender rice, shrimp, cucumber, pickled veggies, and a sunny side egg. Choose your protein, but you can't go wrong with the lemongrass pork. The best part may be pouring over as much fish sauce as you like don't skip out on the fur. This establishment brought northern style fur, which is said to be the original, purest form of the beloved Vietnamese national dish. And don't forget the famous tasty egg coffee or cafe chung for dessert, you must try the flan. They are open every day at noon and close at nine in the evening. For Friday and Saturday, they close later at 10. Most of the items is between 15 to $30. Calling Seafood Lovers, Fat Oyster Seafood Restaurant just opened December of 2023 in Plano. Well, this one is not your traditional seafood place with just fish. We're talking grilled cheese oysters or hao nuong cheese, snails in coconut sauce, and snails in garlic and lemongrass sauce. Of course, there are lobsters grill with cheese and blue crabs in tamarind sauce. You can have all kind of seafood Asian style. And if you are happen to be a surf and turf kind of person, you can always get the beef sleep with oysters at cheese sauces. Are you the kind that can't eat just seafood by itself? Then you can always have crawfish fried rice or maybe seafood fried noodles. The combination is endless and can be daunting, but just start with what you love, seafood. The best part, this restaurant is BYOB. So bring the beer, wine, or liquor to pair with your lobsters. They are open daily from 11 in the morning to 10 at night and close on Tuesday. The cost is around $16 to $29 per person. Do you enjoy high-end dining and don't mind paying for it? We're talking elevated Vietnamese food with great service and white cloth napkins. Then this place is for you. Mat Hai Ba or 123 is a modern Vietnamese gem that's located in the Lakewood neighborhood of Dallas. The restaurant's cuisine is Northern Vietnamese fare, but both the food and the wine list have a French influence. It all starts with Peja Kerstik, the chef owner. He is not only an incredibly talented chef, but also a very personable and warm personality. His dishes are creative, visually appealing, and incredibly flavorful. For starter, the bon bao or steam buns filled with braised brisket is a must try. The whole branzino is nicely prepared with ginger and lemongrass. If you want to try more of a fusion, try kimchi and foie gras dumplings. It's house-made kimchi with foie gras dumplings topped with warm compote of danju pears cooked in pear vinaigrette. 
It's a must try if you want to experience Vietnamese dish taking to a new level. They are open every day at five in the afternoon. However, they close later on Friday and Saturday at 11 in the evening. Expect to pay around $40 per person. So there you have it, folks. My rundown of Dallas's hottest Vietnamese spots. From the streets to high-end dining, this city's got it all. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and hit that notification bell. And hey, while you're at it, drop your favorite Vietnamese spots in the comments below. Let's keep this delicious conversation going. See you next time.